Hey there, this is Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your mid-month June check-in, your energy check for mid-month June 2021. And I'm doing it a little bit differently today, trying something out. I do not know who I'm reading for yet. I don't know which sign, but I am choosing. And this is the energy that I am tuning into. And we'll turn that over at the end. And put that right here. And I'm calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. I'm gonna move this a little bit. Calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't wanna talk to anyone else. And calling in Archangel, Archangel Samuel, Archangel Gabriel. Tuning in for this energy stream, what it is that they need to know at this time for their highest and their greatest good, most benevolent outcomes. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna look at this, we're going to clarify what's going on here with you. And we'll ask for some angel guidance at the end too, yes or no question. So the first thing that I'm noticing is these two kings. And coming from this place of this king of swords, this is really standing and grounding into your truth very possibly um, having some knowledge, getting some knowledge, being victorious with getting some answers, knowing the big picture, knowing what to expect, knowing what's going on. This is being very strategic, but being very clear on what has happened or what is going on around you or what you're thinking and what your situation is. So that's happening in the big picture is the King of Wands reversed, which is, I feel like this is kind of like a, the, the cold hard truth kind of a situation. The big picture is somebody taking their energy out of the situation, very possibly because they've discovered the truth of something. So we'll definitely get over here and clarify all of this. The heart of the situation, again, is talking about somebody not coming in with an apology, somebody taking their energy out of an offer, uh, somebody no longer questing for this. And it's crossed with the justice card, which is karmic justice. So whoever took their energy out of a situation, which very much it looks like it's a possible love situation here, um, Whoever took their energy out of the situation feels like they were justified in doing so. Happening now and into the near future, this is a lot of communication. So if you have not been talking to this person, uh, you will be, or they will be trying to contact you. And your advice card is even talking about a new love or an offer of new love. I wanna say, I feel like this person, whoever it is that you are talking about, um, they're, coming in to say something to you. But since this love card is here in your advice, I feel like there's also somebody brand spanking new. This could be advice for you to take this offer of love, or this could be advice for you to offer and extend your cup of love to someone else. And this all seems like it might be culminating in about the same time. So you might be hearing from this past person that you took your energy away from, but you also might be, um, Kind of walking into a new a new thing here your higher self is talking about the chariot reversed it's like there's there have been some stumbling blocks here there is something in the road that has to be moved in order for me to move forward in my journey and your angels and guides are talking about what is it that you most wish what is it that you most desire what do you want make some wishes here and for whoever this is i feel like uh, somebody's saying you're going to get your wishes met around your birthday or think about what your birthday wishes were. 
there's something about your birthday here. This is releasing in your position of releasing. It's like release the anxiety that has come up around this. Just your next step is to release anxiety. And this is having resistance in your resistance position, having um, resistance to letting other people uh, rule the roost, letting other people take control of your life almost. It's like, um, I have resistance to other people calling the shots here. It's time for you to call the shots. Okay. So in the past, here's this three of pentacles. This is about not being on the same page. This very well could be about a third party. This is also seeking internal validation rather than seeking validation from external sources, other people. And this present time energy is really talking about making some boundaries. You're trying to make boundaries, but you're also distracted. And I want to find out about that and get some clarity about that. Here's this three of swords. I really feel like somebody's coming back to have a conversation about how they feel lost without you. Okay, let's do some clarifying here. I first want to clarify this king of wands. And these are not gender specific. So the king of wands could literally be a person that this is about that took their energy out of your life, but it could be you just being action oriented and removing your energy from a situation. And right, this is like, I removed my energy from a situation when I got the whole story and coming from this place of knowing the truth and having that knowledge, that makes a lot of sense. Let's look at this King of Swords talking about knowing all the whole story. Yeah, somebody tried to confuse you. Somebody tried to put the wool over your eyes here. And here's that king of wands. But that didn't work out. You figured it out. You got the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And Here's taking that energy out. Yeah, that looks like the third party. And yeah, this is like totally cutting it off, cutting off the third party. You know, on one hand, this could be you being in this situation. It could be you cutting off the third party because you wanted to be with this other person. So flip the, flip the roles if that makes more sense to you. It's a general reading, so that, that happens. But let's look at this eight of wands, this communication, yeah, somebody's coming back to romance you, whether that's you romancing someone, offering an apology, or whether that's somebody coming in to say, oh, baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's look at this chariot reversed. Right, it's like I had this ideal way of looking at things. And this also is like, this ideal is creating conflict because expectations might be unattainable. And so unattainable expectations are keeping this from moving forward. And this, yeah, this nine of cups, this wish card, it's like, it's the birthday card. This is even like a, the child card, but Here's this ace of pentacles, it's the ace of diamonds. And this is a dream coming true, a wish coming true. And I still feel like this is timing for that is like birthday related. It's around your birthday. So page of cups, this advice, somebody's offering you, I I'm hearing a way out or a way through this these challenges. Somebody's offering you a way through these challenges. So let's look at this. Your next steps are to release the, release the anxiety. This is also about releasing ego, releasing anxiety, releasing, this would even be like 
regret and sadness and upset about the way I've acted or something like that, or maybe that I didn't see this sooner, or it's releasing anything that feels like you're in your ego that usually feels like guilt and shame. And this resistance to somebody else calling the shots, my cross to bear. Maybe perhaps you let somebody call the shots previously and now you're resistant to it. Maybe that's what you feel like was the mistake. Ugh. I hear somebody saying, I believed, I was so trusting. That's what. So this not being on the same page when it came to romance and commitment, when it came to romance, somebody felt betrayed. And here we have this, I need to make some boundaries. I am, I'm distracted. Something's distracting me from making boundaries. And somebody, it looks like is distracting themselves with some kind of trip. Like they're literally traveling somewhere to make boundaries or like get out of this bubble of energy. And also somebody looks like they might be distracted by finding a different, you know, finding a new love. <laughs> I'll offer you a way out of these challenges. This is just a brand new love. So somebody's distracting themselves from the sadness and upset. Um, and then I feel like this other person even who inflicted this pain is upset that you found a new love when that's what they were doing. Uh, and there is, there's quite a psychic connection here. I also feel like um, part of the reason why you get all of this knowledge is because you literally see it. You see it psychically or someone else sees it and shows you. You see something that leads you to the understanding of this disappointment and upset. I'm going to put another one out there. Yep, this is definitely a shakeup. Here's the Queen of Cups. This is definitely a shakeup and it feels like because of this distraction or because of this, this, there's a big change here because somebody finds the truth out. If it hasn't happened already, it's just about to. So I want to find out what does this person want to say to you? What do they want to say? I'll wait for you like a stone, but it's reversed. Somebody's like, I'm done waiting. Or somebody recognizes that you are done waiting and they're acknowledging that. Bang it to the curb, but this is reversed. So this is like, somebody's also they're slowing it down so like somebody's getting all of this attention and getting all of this um recognition and getting these messages and it feels like the person who's getting all these messages is like they're just not in a hurry to answer or reciprocate or respond just yet they're thinking about it they might go out of town they might get out of dodge like they might just take some space. Yeah, clear your space like a mofo. They're like, I need to, I need to get out of here. So these messages of romance happening now and into the near future aren't necessarily going to have a, a huge impact just yet. Insecurity, lack of confidence and self-doubt is delaying action. Yeah, this is gonna happen fast. Somebody is not waiting. So somebody is gonna be snappy with the, wait a minute, come back. 
I don't want you to leave. What did you hear? What did you see? Like they're wanting to know what happened and they're also a little afraid that you know what happened or however that's working out. Let's get messages of the love oracle cards here and ask a bit about woo, what's going on, right? Okay, so regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. And I am feeling that for sure. Okay. Somebody is feeling regretful and I'm almost feeling like they're in that, oh no, oh no, oh shit. Like they're in that phase or something. They're like, they've been found out is what that looks like. And they regret it. Patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. Just because somebody else is in a hurry and is trying to be like, trying to fix things really fast doesn't mean you have to work really fast. You can take time to do what you need to do. Second chance, this relationship deserves a second chance. I definitely feel like that's what somebody's saying to you. You get to decide. And I want to look at some energy around the outcome of this scenario here. The outcome, here we have the queen of swords looking for the truth, recognizing the truth. Here we have the king of pentacles, the energy of being grounded, stable, solid, secure, and committed. And here we have the two of swords. So it's like getting the truth, understanding the truth, the energy of being solid, stable. I feel like somebody's offering you that. Wait, I didn't know what I had until it wasn't there kind of thing. And then there's this, yeah, I'm protecting my heart. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be doing that just yet. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, there's been some complete heartache here. You've got the three of swords twice now. You're like, um this hurts and it's not I'm not taking this lightly here is somebody possibly in denial about this change or this ending this restructuring this blow in the tower up something blowing you out of the water somebody's in denial about that actually being the case here's the high priestess and I feel like you're just kind of like going undercover you're going silent you're taking things in for a bit Let's take a look at this romance oracle. And then we will get a yes or no question from the angel oracle. The romance oracle. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Playfulness. I feel like this is going to be this new, this this new opportunity for love here, not with this person coming back wanting to be with you, but this new person. And yeah, let go of control issues. You're like, I don't wanna be controlled. And I feel like the person who was being deceitful or lying was really controlling a lot of stuff so that they could keep so they could keep the story going or keep the story straight somehow. Okay. So here, yes or no from the angel oracle. Listen to your intuition. I feel like you're already doing that. It's like, you're very clear with how you feel. And just going into that high priestess mode is like, I can't even deal with this. Listen to your intuition. That's when you'll find success. And wait. So just giving yourself some time and some space. I am getting a no. Okay, let's look at this, Taurus. Taurus, 
Thank you for being with me. Let me know. Thank you for being with me in this uh, experiment of energy in this way. And uh, let me know if this resonated. Like and subscribe. And I will talk to you before the end of the month. Bye, Taurus.